Hello friends, so today we are solving another cognitive question. So let's go to the question. And it's a quite easy one. So let's go and read the description as well. So here the question. So I think you are able to see the question properly because my face is at this corner. So Sanjay teacher, Sanjana teacher, her daughter. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sanjana teaches her daughter how to find the factors of a given number. But when she provides a number to her daughter, then the daughter should tell all the factors of the number correctly. So help Sanjana, help Sanjana's daughter by writing a program. So we have to write a program for the Sanjana's daughter. So note, if the enter input is zero, then the output should be no factor. So the number zero have no factor. So we have to print the value no factor. And if the enter input is a negative number, then first convert it to the positive and then find its factor. So it's a simple question. We have to uh, calculate the factor of a uh, given number. So sample input is 55. So 55, uh, enter the positive integer 55. So sample output of 55 is 1, 5, 11, and 55. So we all know that factors are which can divide that particular number uh, completely. So 1, 5, 11, and 55 are capable of dividing that particular number completely. So that's why these fours are the factor of, this four number are the factor of 55. So let's see the uh, sample input 2. So this is sample input 2. So now here the number is minus, in, is, here the number is in negative. So minus 256. So 256 is a negative number. So first of all, we have to convert it into a positive number. Then we are going to print its factor. So now I think you are able to understand the description of this particular question. I know this question is easy, but still I am tackling this question because this was asked in previous year. So that's why I just want to uh, uh, tackle each and every question so that whenever someone is preparing for cognitive and dancing elevator role, he, don't, he or she don't have to go to uh, search for the question. They can have this complete playlist. And by going through all the questions, he or she can build confidence appear in the test with his or her full potential. So that's the purpose of this particular playlist. So let's let's go to the coding part first of all. Uh, so let's do the coding. So I will use ideally. Ideally is good. Ideally is fun. So I will choose ideally to code for this particular question. Let's do it. This one is easy. We can complete in just five and fifteen minutes. I can complete it in less than uh, five minutes. But still, the thing is, thing here is, is the thing here is that I'm not the one who is uh, uh, appearing the test right now. I just try to code in a manner so that you all can understand it. So that's why I will have a, uh, less space as compared to my actual space. So shift A, uh, control A, backspace. So, so that you all can understand. So now, first of all, I will accept the number. So at n is equal to int input. input. Now, now simple if uh, condition if n, n is equal to equal to 0, if n is, if n is less than 0, then what should we do? Then uh, take, then take y, y is equal to zero, and we will do, we will do y plus abs, abs n. So what we are doing here? So if n is a negative integer, so abs is a predefined function which can help to convert a negative number into positive number. So to so to uh, to understand this, I am just printing y to explain you in an easy form. So now window f5 enter so i give negative number which is minus 12 so it is taking abs is converting into 12 and that 12 value is adding in y which is actually a zero now the y is storing the positive number which is 12 now minus 12 is converting into y, uh, plus 12 using abs abs is a, ABS is a predefined function you can you can uh, code your own uh, own piece, small piece of code to convert a negative number into positive number but still if there is a predefined function present in python so try to remember a small and simple predefined function it is necessary it becomes sometimes necessary so now uh, if the number is negative, then uh, y will store this. Else, if number is not negative, else number is not negative, then y is equal to what should be y? Then y is equal to y plus n. So y will store uh, directly n. So no issue at all. So now we have a number y here. So, uh, the number uh, storing by the y, we need to calculate its factor. So now we have to uh, check if if y is equal to equal to zero. Uh, if y is equal to equal to zero. Then print. What should we need to print? In that particular case, we need to print no factor. Simply. Control C. Control V. Control V. So I have to change this double code so that we can. So this. So else, else what we need to do? Else we need to put a put a logic to calculate its factor. So so I will use a for, a for loop for i in range. For i in range. Uh, from one, I will consider one because one is a factor of every uh, individual number. From one to uh, y plus one, I'm taking y plus one because I am not want to. I don't want to exclude that particular number. If y is twelve, so twelve should be considered as considered as an, a possibility of factor two. So that's why I'm I, if I'm taking a range from y one to thirteen. That's why I'm writing y plus one. So thirteen will be excluded. The uh, the for loop will uh, trans, uh, uh, the for loop will actually work from one to twelve. So twelve is also considered as one of the possibility. So now. Uh, 
comma okay here range is consistent let's let's print print i check how much this loop work so window f5 enter let's go with 12 so now 1 to 12 all are uh, all number are going to be check as whether this number is this 1 to 12 is uh, out of 1 to 12 which number is factor of 12 all all are going to be checked on the basis of our logic which are which i'm going to add on this for loop so now the logic says if uh, if y divided by y modulus i is equal to equal to 0 it means the particular i at that particular instance is uh, completely dividing the y in that particular case what i need to do in that particular case i need to append that particular i in l i'm taking a list in which i'm going to append all the uh, all the valid numbers which are factor of that particular number so i'm taking a list here so now after that when uh, list uh, let's print list here to show you all the valid number which is uh, practically the factor of our number 12 window f5 enter 12 enter so 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 so here you can, uh, here the 55 is mentioned let's go with 55 the factor of 55 is 1 5 11 and 55 let's check for 55 <coughs> So I'm um, f5. So for 55, what should be factor? So now factor is accurate. Our logic is working fine. Uh, the factor we are calculating for 55 is right. So 1, 5, 11, 55. Same factor is uh, written here as output. Factor of 55 is 1, 5, 11, 55. Now the thing here is we have to print the output in this manner. Okay, we have to print the output in this manner. So how to do it? So cancel, cancel. So how to do it? So now, so I will take a simple uh, string s is equal to For i, for let's take j in L, s is equal to s plus. Uh, I think, I think s plus j, s plus j plus space. Then uh, printings. Let's check it out. I think I am going to get a uh, concatenation, concatenation error that you can't concatenate a string with integer. But let's see. Let's find out. This will happen or not. Fifty-five. So you know. We are getting this concatenation SCR error. So the the error that coming here is uh, can only concatenate SCR. So it means the values in the list is of integer type. So I'm uh, adding j. J is of integer type. So first of all, I have to type pass that. So to remove this small error, I I need to do this this small thing. So now it will be going to work fine. Window frame enter. Now uh, fifty five enter. So now one five eleven fifty five is printing in a manner the question want. So in this way, when you do the code in your competitive uh, coding environment or in any uh, online test then you, then your all the test cases will going to be uh, uh, going to be passed accurately so this is the way you have to analyze it how the output want in that particular question so now now for let's check for minus uh, 256 negative number uh, can second this minus 256 let's check for this uh, window f5 minus 256 so now 1 2 4 so let's 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 see it. So, so now you can see it. For minus two fifty six factor, I am calculating right. One two four eight sixteen. One two four eight sixteen. Thirty two sixty four one twenty eight. Thirty two sixty four one twenty eight. And now at the last two fifty six two fifty six. So it means negative number is giving us a right answer. So it means uh, we have clear two test cases with uh, one with positive number. Our factor is calculating right. With negative negative number, our factor is calculating right. And now at last we have to check for zero. So this is the last test case we have to pass. Uh, so let's check with zero. So for zero, uh, this statement should be work. So let's run window f5. For zero, no factors. So I think our our code is completely done. We have cleared all the three test cases, which is attached to this particular piece of code. Uh,